Hello, hello. Hello. How are you, Kai? I'm great, Jake. How are you? Oh my God. So good to finally connect with you. I have been following you now on Instagram for a while and um, I'm I'm kind of like nerding out a little bit, to be honest. <laughs> no, no way. Um, <laughs> it is a pleasure to meet you, Jake, really. Like I've been hearing so much about no stigmas in the past little bit and it's just fantastic what you guys are doing. I'm blown yeah, away. Thanks so much. Um, I want to um, I want to connect on Instagram as well, um, yeah. ah, so uh, we can we can share the good vibes with everybody there. Um, there we go. Oh, request to join. There it is. Send a request. Perfect. Oh, and there's Sophie. Sophie's already uh, already joined. Accepted your request. All right, here we go. Nice. And so, Kai, you are like this wonderkin uh who is just like doing all sorts of amazing things i'm i'm fascinated by your performance and your all the like multi-level talents that you have um some of them are intersectional for us by the way which i want to talk about but the biggest thing that i am curious about um that i want to i want everybody to know how did you come to be a mental health ally? Where did this come from? Because Lance um, from my marketing team uh, was sharing a little bit about his conversations with you. And um, and it's kind of been like a, maybe a roundabout way that you, right. that you came to it. Yeah. See, yeah, that I, um, how I kind of became a, I just kind of fell into it. And so um, I wrote a song a few years ago called uh, Dear Mum, which is a, a song all about um, bullying and youth suicide. And it was just really um, being incredibly inspired in the wrong way from, you know, too many articles about another, you know, another child who's been through this and another parent who's lost a child through bullying at school and, and especially in Australia and, and the school system wasn't doing anything about it. And you're just yeah. seeing every, every couple of weeks, there's another article and, and mum and I, you know, we talk about it all the time and I was just really, really passionate about it. And so I wanted to do something about it. And we ended up writing a song and uh, I love, love the song. And then the, the video was where, where it really all came together, but I wasn't, I wasn't doing it to be like, I'm going to be this, this advocate and it's going to, you know, I, I just, I was just, it was just a passion project for me. I, I didn't think it was going to, you know, uh, like, I don't know, resonate with as many people as it did. Right. Um, but I, yeah, I'm, I, I just, I couldn't be more proud of, of, how it ended up and then I guess yeah a lot of people liked it it went very viral and so I had and I've been doing I've been live streaming for years every week I, I live stream on YouTube and Twitch and what have you and after Dear Mom started uh, gaining traction I found more and more people uh, joining um, asking questions asking where they can you know get help and and all these different things and so then it just kind of as I said I just kind of fell into it right there and um and so then i started a discord server and we we ended up you know we put we put some uh some some resource links in the description and then bam it, it just kind of it just kind of grew organically from grew, there grew organically from there yeah that's awesome well i mean it, it puts you on our radar um which is amazing and um and it looks like you have you know a lot of great impact based on the feedback that I'm seeing, the comments and the way people are interacting, it's um, your music is very supportive um, to them and they're, they're finding community. And, and it's amazing um, for someone who um, by all appearances has their stuff together and, you know, is talented and successful um, to be able to use that, you know, use your platform um, to help support other people. Um, I, in 2019, pre-pandemic, had um, the chance to um, spend some time in Australia um, with some um, prevention advocates um, like myself. Um, so Kevin Hines from the States and then a bunch of um, Aussie suicide prevention um, friends. And um, 
I have to tell you, like there's been a big shift um, with suicide prevention, with mental health awareness happening on Australia. And it's really been um, inspiring and um, just, I think um, there's been a lot of like leadership coming out of Australia in that way. So um, it was, it was a great experience. That no, that's awesome. Um, how did you like Australia? Oh my God. I mean, it was other than, you know, the 15 hours it took to get there. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I, <laughs> I was living in LA at the time, so it wasn't so bad, but it, um, you know, I got to say, like I flew into Sydney, um, spent a day um, there and then had to go all the way to Perth oh, um, wow. for, for a suicide prevention event um, that I was speaking at. And um, so it was like, it was a quick turnaround. It was that flight and then four hours across the country to Perth. It was beautiful over there. I loved it. Um, the culture was was amazing. Um, I have some friends, um, Lauren and Steph, who are um, doing um, suicide prevention over there. And um, Joe Williams, um, he uh, the en enemy within um, and the uh, Inner Ninja Foundation um, over there doing great events. Um, so I loved that time over there. But before flying back to the States, I had some time to spend um, again in Sydney and um, met up with my um, good buddy, um, Dan Price and Sam Webb, um, who you may know from um, Survivor Australia. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so we we hung out on uh, Bondi um, Beach and just, you know, got to do the full, full experience, um, you know, hanging out in Australia, which is really cool. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm from Sydney. I, I grew up just a couple beaches down from Bondi in Maroon. Okay, right on, right on. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, I, you know, I want to go and spend more time because there's so much more to explore. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was it was such a cool time. So um, how long have you been in the States now? Uh, just over five years now. Okay. Yeah. All so right. I've been here quite a, quite a big chunk. It's weird because you know, obviously I always will be Australian, but it's kind of crazy how much of my life I have been here. And, but I still feel like I'm getting used to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, I mean, the Aussies are taking over, uh, LA and Hollywood. Man. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a lot of talent coming out of there. Um, I, I think we, I think we work hard. I think that's, yeah. something that, you know what, yeah. um, that, that's something I was, I was sharing, um, your profile with my wife, um, last night and i was like you know look at this kid he like he's doing all sorts of cool stuff and she's like you know he's super talented and he looks like he works really hard and you know having you know spent time in la and you know been on both sides of the camera and worked in entertainment for a long time myself i i know that you know natural talent gets you so far um your looks can get you a little further but the the hard work is where I mean, if, if you're not putting in the time, then. Right. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got to, I, yeah. I love um, Will Smith's analogy. He says, he says all of that. You can be more talented than me. You can be better looking. But if we get on a treadmill, I am not getting off that yes. treadmill until either you get off or I am dead. And yes. I, just, I absolutely love that, that mentality. And I really try and strive to be that as much as I can, because I, I, I could I couldn't sing at all when I started. There was no talent there. I think my only talent is uh, being a good student. That's something I've always been very good at, being able to take directions very well from a very young age. And I think that's right. really helped me. But in terms of like uh, singing ability and everything, oh, I was you should have heard me, man. I was terrible. <laughs> uh, but I just I love performing. I love being on stage, and so I just kept working at it. I got a fantastic teacher. And, um, and it's a, it's a continuous struggle. And it, since my voice broke, I kind of had to learn how to sing again. And, uh, <laughs> I bet, I bet. But I, I got to tell you, man, I mean, your, um, your like alto and your falsetto are like really clear, crisp, clean. Um, so okay. it's, it's nice. So when you were doing the Taylor Swift song, um, and I was like, all right. Ah, uh, thank you so much. So it was yes, so funny. Someone, someone, someone on TikTok said, uh, commented on that. They said, "Can you post an original to like make sure that it's you?" Mm. And I'm like, "Oh, like, does he think that I'm lip syncing or something?" And then I was like, "This is me. Did you think it was somebody else?" And they thought it was Taylor Swift. 
<laughs> they thought I was lip syncing not to like another guy, but to Taylor Swift. I was like, oh, okay. But yeah. no, yeah, I'm really, really proud. Even just the last couple of weeks, I felt a, a big shift in finally being in a place where I can, you know, be be really happy with where with where my voice is at. I'm I'm really, really excited. That's amazing. That's that's so cool. Um, we have one other intersection that I want to talk about, um, which is um, you're doing you you work out at Jam sometimes. Yes. Oh my gosh! I used to love that place. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. I wait. Oh, oh, yeah. I've got uh, this. Is not very good. Not very good uh, to my clean bedroom. But yes. <laughs> I have the T-shirt right here. I wore oh, it yesterday. My God. I wore it yesterday. That's amazing. So, so for for those who don't know, Jam or Joining All Movement is a gym in the Valley uh, in LA, and um, martial artist parkour, gymnast, um, stunt people work out there. And um, I used to go there all the time back when I was doing stunt work and when I was heavy into martial arts. And um, and I saw some videos of Kai doing um, some some free running and parkour there. And I was just like, yes, look at this guy. He's, <laughs> he's doing it. <laughs> Following your footsteps, man. No, um, my, my sister, Amy, is uh, training to be a stunt woman. And so... We are always, we're at Tempest a few times a week, we're at Jam, um, mm. and we were just out at, uh, at CSUN, the college, yesterday doing some parkour yeah. about, and yeah, we, I absolutely love it. It's, um, it's, it's trying to find the balance between like, you know, oh, I should be doing my work, but my goodness, this is so much fun. Uh, and it's Amy's, yeah. you know, my sister Amy, she's, um, she's getting so good. She's, she's got her black belt in Taekwondo after 14 months. Which is Do, who? Who is she studying with, by chance? Uh, for Taekwondo, Simon Ree. Stop it! That's who I trained with. No way! Yes. <laughs> Simon Ree is like just an incredible guy. human being. Yeah, an incredible human yeah. being. Yeah, I used to work out at his old old studio um, for a few years, and then recently they they started working out a jam. Yeah. Um, there, he is such such a legend in the industry. Um, I loved I, moving back to Chicago. That was like one of my biggest regrets is not being able to go to TKD three, five days a week. So, yeah. Right. No, yeah, yeah. they've been the, the Simon Reed, the whole, the whole school has been just so, so accommodating, embracing with Amy and her and her work and her progress. It's been amazing. She wouldn't be able to do, you know, what she's doing without, without them. So it's, it's, That's they've amazing. Been, wow. Well, um, I'm gonna have to in, insta stalk you and and uh, connect with your sister and see if I know her. But yeah, it's um, at Stuntling for everybody else. Everybody, okay. else, Stuntling. That's her right. profile. She's awesome. She's she's really she hasn't been going you know that long, but she's she's already just blown me out of the water in terms of skill. It's been fantastic. Wow, that's that's incredible. With with the right group, and that's why I started working out with Simon Ree because I was like, who is the like the most talented doing it has the connections doing it right and and he he was the guy so yeah well um, like that's, that's when um when we were looking to get into it uh i say we a amy was um and ev you know we were we just asked around and everybody just said simon ray that's that's the guy yeah and that's amazing well um i mean and i would i would um urge you to shift your perspective on um that that time wasting the more skill sets you're adding, the more valuable you are to um, yourself, to others, um, you know, depending on what your goals are. So I, I see tap dancing, I see, you know, the, the um, parkour and the voice, I suspect you can also act. And so like, I, I see a future on Disney or any number of other um, amazing venues for you. So, um, so we have, uh, I, I want to make sure we we get down to um, some conversations um, here about mental health as well because yes. we're we can um, talk about gym all day long. I know, I know. <laughs> um, so you're going to be joining our um, Giving Tuesday live telethon. Um, you're you're doing a performance um, that we're going to be sharing with everybody. Can you tell everybody what that's about? What what that's going to look like? Yeah, yeah. So so I was talking with Lance about. Um, you know what what I can bring to the table for the for the Giving Tuesday and 
and kind of what I represent and and what we can what we can share. And um, the my music video for uh, Depression is a Monster. I say music video. It's kind of more of a short film at this point. Short film slash music video for my most recent um, my most recent mental health song, Depression is a Monster. That was it was just kind of uh just kind of perfect i i I feel like it was my best foot forward you know what i mean so so i'm going to be sharing that on tuesday and also i've um just kind of spoken a bit beforehand about about the importance of of uh taking taking uh taking responsibility and taking drive to to be the best version of ourselves that you can be and reaching out if you need that and and recognizing that uh, other people's opinions of you don't matter at all, and um, and it's just a reflection on on their own self. And I, I talk a little bit about uh, my first journey with with uh, online hate and and everything, and and just kind of yeah, I, I think that's a big thing. And and especially being a musician, I get a lot of comments from from other people saying, you know, I want to I want to sing, I want to. Uh, you know, do this online or whatever it may be, but I just, uh, I don't have the confidence. What if people don't like it? And um, kind yeah. of, kind of getting that, 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 that mentality out of here of, of who cares what everybody else thinks. If you are going to get fulfillment and, and enjoyment out of it, then go for it. And, right. and, it, and it probably will suck at the start. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Like I certainly, I certainly wasn't very good, as I mentioned when I first started. But that's not going to stop me because the more that I just get out and do it, the more that it's going to get better. And 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 you, it's you got to do what makes you happy. So, um, yeah, getting getting rid of that whole um, what 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 everybody else thinks and just doing something because it makes you you happy. That's a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, I think that's a good segue um, into checking on uh, in on the comments here. You know, we have someone um, who you know just left a comment saying that they were sad. And um, what would you say to someone like that who is feeling sad and um, or maybe depressed or anxious or you know dealing with a, a mental health challenge um, as an ally, as a peer supporter? What would you say to them? Um, well, first off, there's a, a a couple things. Like, if it is something like you know a, a depression, or if it's a long term feeling of sadness, then you know the number one thing is to is to reach out to to someone in your community or or a professional online. I like you know there's there's unlimited amount of people in the world that um, you know dedicate their lives to helping, and that is just so inspiring and. And so, and the, the, there's people out there that want to love you, you know, and so, and li- like no stigmas, you know, and so um, that's first off. But, you know, everybody goes through periods of feeling down, feeling sad. And if it's that, um, I, would, I would say the number one thing for me is having a passion that you can turn to. Yeah. Um, and so, and so not relying on, on other people for your own fulfillment, for your own uh, happiness. Um, because when they, you know, if they're having a bad day or they're not paying attention and then you can, everything can kind of feel like it's falling apart. So just finding that, that thing that you can just get completely, uh, you know, let the rest of the world disappear. Uh, and that can be anything. And so for me, that's music. That's, that's writing songs. That's producing music. That's making videos. And so the rest of the world can disappear, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be happy because I have my family, I have my my work, and so I find that I don't know something that's not talked talked heaps about, but I find really really important. Um, whether that's you know knitting or basketball or uh, learning another language or you know whatever it is, there are one you know there's resources to be able to get started online. And then two, there's also so many communities online of people that are just as passionate as you. And so finding those people and getting in those communities and and yeah. just getting engrossed in a thing, in a, in a passion, I think that's really, really uh, valuable. I love that. Yeah, Artie Witch um, said her their passion is art. And, um, you know, 
like you said, whatever that is, like finding that passion, that purpose, uh, I think is so important. Um, you know, you'd said that you put together the Discord channel um, to connect with people about mental health and about mm -hmm. um, music. And, and that is peer support, right? That is finding those people, that community who can be there to help lift you up when you're feeling down. And I think social media gets a really bad rap a lot of times um, for, for bullying and for um, people who are, you know, gaslighting or being, you know, just just rude or critical. Right. Um, but there's also just as many more people, I would say, who are out there positive vibes and connecting and supporting and loving and, you know, building each other up. You know, right. if you look at, you know, YouTube, the amount of educational content that people are putting out there just to support um, forums where, you know, people are, are are doing that. And that's that's what we try to do at No Stigmas is, is give people those skills uh, to be able to speak that language, to be able to advocate and support one another. And um, and it sounds like that's that's what your music is doing, too, is providing that peer support. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And I think social media just brought people together. And so you get the good and the bad of that, right? It just It's just brought everyone together. It's no longer just your community. It's its every community everywhere um, mm -hmm. all the time. And so, yes, that comes with positives and negatives. But I think um, social media also has the advantage of you being able to choose what part of the internet you see. You know what I mean? Like if you don't want to, if, if you don't like what a person's saying about you, you block them. If yep. you want to talk about, uh, if you want to talk about ocean, um, you know, ocean um, conservation, you go to r slash ocean conservation on Reddit, and there'll be a uh, there'll be hundreds, thousands of people who are there to to talk about it with you. You know, like there's just the internet is an endless possibility for you to. Uh, I love what like Gary V. He said, I don't know, back in like 2007, he was like, if you if your passion is the Smurfs, the internet, there's going to be thousands of people <laughs> that are just as passionate about the Smurfs as you are, and so yeah. create content about the Smurfs. You know, and like Gary V. is is he's a retro cartoon nerd, and uh, you know, I don't know if you've seen his his lunchbox collect collection and how oh. he goes and um, finds all that stuff, but like great example of someone who is just like i think pretty much a nerd at heart and just like has found his people found his connection exactly around. exactly he's found his people and he's just uh no excuses you know what yeah. i mean and yeah. and i think i think finding your passion like uh, we've I've spoken about it so much i think it's the most important thing at least for me and and that's something that you know i think my my guide to a happy life is finding something that you love to do, doing that as much as possible and then helping as many people as you can to find their thing. And so that's what I'm doing. And so I'm happy. Yeah. I, I love that. And, you know, and I, I'm similar to you in that way where, you know, I I've had so many iterations of, uh, of my life and had the really privilege of being able to do so much and explore and travel um, to work in, in film and for me, you know, understanding like, okay, that that's not making me happy. Um, how can I repurpose that? How can I find something from that? So now you know, I've been able to repurpose those skill sets from, you know, my days in entertainment to what I do now. And, you know, I, there was certainly a sense of like loss or mourning that came with you know, giving up um, a part of my life or something that I worked really hard on, mm. but being able to translate that into something that has been so positive and I've been able to pour myself into, um, I, I think has really, it's not even a thought. And, you know, that was kind of the the second part of, you know, this, the response to you know this comment about you know i'm sad or um, people who need support out there when you give to others it has the amazing benefit of also helping you and supporting right. you um, disrupting 
whatever you're experiencing, whatever is wrong in your life, whatever you're being challenged by, if you are coming from a selfless place, if you're giving to others, if you're investing in others, if you're thinking about the greater good, uh, you can't be focused on what's bad or what's wrong in your life. The two right. are you know, mutually exclusive. Now, that being said, like some if people focus on the on the bad stuff in life, you're going to look at it in a different frame of frame of mind, right? You're going to look at it in a way of I can conquer this, I can get over this. Exactly. Every exactly. That mindset. Yeah. And, you know, listen, there, there are people in the world, and I've, I've you know, been there, I'm, I'm one of them, who has, you know, experienced clinical depression, who has had panic disorder, who, you know, has dealt with severe like treatment resistant mental illness and that's that's another level that's like something that an attitude or a perspective or a, you know a, a passion can't fix right so that's when like you said you, you have to reach out to a professional you have to connect to get the level of support that you need that's so important um so and correct. also you know we have to look at the holistic environments and we have to look at what we're eating and how we're sleeping and what we're you know who we're talking to that environment that we're in it all affects our mental health it all affects you know everything so all right we we have a couple minutes left and i um we've, we've had a couple more um questions come in so um dragon of kai um asked what someone from our discord by the way is it that's yeah. amazing um, asked, what is the inspo for depression is a monster? Um, the, well, kind of what we were talking about, I, I, I spoke about previously, I'd spoken about Dear Mom, and that was about uh, the effects of bullying on mental health, because bullying felt like, it felt like a, 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 a disease or a, or a cancer that we knew the, the, the cure for, right? And that's just being decent people, <laughs> being decent human beings and, and looking out for each other. But I did want to, I did want to address the, the idea of it can be anybody and that, that clinical depression, the, the thing of like, sometimes there's not a catalyst for feeling sad. Sometimes there's not a reason that right. you're having a bad day. Genetics, it can be environment. It can be so many different things, right? Exactly. Exactly. And so, um, that was something that I wanted to address and, and just kind of, um, well, actually the original inspiration was I wanted to do a, a short film, which I did end up eventually making. It's called The Streamer. And it is all about, um, it's all about the idea of uh, celebrities not being treated as mm. people sometimes. Uh, I read I read a lot from um, Justin Bieber and Shawn Mendes and Charlie Puth. Charlie Puth put up a, Instagram photo and he said uh, with him on tour and he said as much as this was the 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 best year of my life it was also when my mental health was at its worst right mm -hmm. and I was like oh that's that's cool of him to be speaking about that and I, I wonder what the people are saying I went to the comments and the top comment was Charlie come to Brazil you know just like just no no empathy for what he was going through and so I kind of wanted to to ad to address that so I was making this short film I was like I, I need a song and so then I kind of, all those thoughts came together to, to create Depression is a Monster. Wow. I love that. I can't wait to hear it. I, I have not heard the song yet. I've purposefully been waiting. Um, so I'm super excited. And, you know, on Tuesday, um, so for those who don't know, Giving Tuesday is an annual event that happens um, worldwide. So we have Thanksgiving in the States, then we have Black Friday, we have Small Business Saturday, and then we come around Cyber Monday, right? Right. Tuesday is the that opportunity to give back. And so uh, No Stigmas uh, will be participating in Giving Tuesday. We're having a telethon and um, we're asking for uh, for support. Um, of course, you know, financial support is helpful, but we want we want people to join. We want people to become part of the community, to become allies like you, um, to learn how to do that. Um, so during that time, we're going to be, um, sharing your, your music video and, uh, and this is everybody, by the way, this is like an exclusive performance. This is not something that you get to see anywhere else. This is an exclusive performance, uh, of Kai. So like you have to join us on Tuesday. Um, so check our, um, our socials and you'll be able to, uh, 
to see when and where that's going to happen. Uh, I'm, so, go I'm so honored to be part of this as well. Just yeah, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm so honored. And what you guys are doing is fantastic. And, uh, and yeah, like, as you said, like people, the, everybody can make a difference. That was a big thing that I found out with dear mom. Like I, I kept saying in the future, you know, when I, when I have millions of followers, I'm going to do so much, you know, I'm going to help so many people. And dear mom just kind of made me realize that nah, anybody can, you can, if one person, you know, yeah, yeah. And, um, and everybody can do that. You don't have to be some artist on social media that it, you can be in your community, in your classroom. You know, we can all strive to be that ally. And so I'm just, what you guys have been awesome. And I'm just so honored to be part of it. Yeah. Well, likewise, thank you for, you know, spending your time and your talent with us. We really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to Tuesday and to seeing how we can collaborate uh, in the future. By the way, I just realized that I have my, um, my Aussie boomerang. Right oh, I have boomerang in the background. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I got that in Perth. That was from um, from an Aboriginal tribe, and it's, it has the the maker on the back. So it's a prized possession of mine. But <laughs> got the connection. Fantastic. You just you uh, just put the computer angle, so it was right there. Right. It's I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Thank you, Kai. I appreciate your time. Uh, have a wonderful day, and looking forward to uh, Tuesday. Thanks again. Thank you so much, Jake. Take care. Thank you. Bye.